hello everyone we are back again with another video from the incredible mountain of kwewu ghana if you are new to my channel hi there welcome and thank you so much for clicking do well to hit the subscription button but of course to you my ogs i appreciate you all and thank you for all the support so guys i'm still here in kwewu and this time i must feed my curiosity I want to get to know more about this beautiful town of Ubu. I've been here twice, but each of these times I came, I just end up end up driving past. And I feel like there is something here that I'm yet to do. So today I came back and this time I was lucky to get people that would tell me more, that would take me around to get to tour the whole town and i finally get a chance to ask them how they make their monies because you can see evidence of wealth everywhere here in a town that is not a commercial city this place is here up here the mountain of kwewu at the eastern region so i wanted to know more about them so i was lucky to finally today meet someone that is willing to take us round get to tell us a lot about them and i personally get to know the people of ubo beyond her physical beauty these people are kind-hearted and very very welcoming all throughout my filming here i always uh, see people smile once you say hello they smile before they respond so i am um, like blown away by these people so meet my tour guard for today who did this for absolute free and his name is mr kojo ofori born raised here he is um son of the soil of obo so he's going to take us right and um take us around and tell us the cost of living i mean the cost of renting actually and i asked him the question that i always ask people anywhere i go in ghana if they allow foreigners to live among them so i asked him that and i will be happy to hear i mean i'll be happy to hear I'll be happy for you to hear his response on that and also the cost of a two-bedroom apartment and also the occupations of the people of Obo. And you may be interested to see if you would like to move and live here. It's a very beautiful place, great weather. Everything here is just away from the regular uh, that you may have experienced in Ghana, such as the weather, and also you can see how greenish the whole environment looks anyways that part is common everywhere in ghana you get to see the environment green and fresh but this one here the weather is just different so we are going to go around and see what we can find so stay tuned don't go nowhere so the reason some part of this video is muted is due to copyrighted because everywhere here is still bubbling due to the easter celebration people are still dancing playing music so just uh, bear with me as i take you guys through the town i uh, will be going for a party right mr ufori introduced me to so many people friends and family even his grandmom and his great grandmother one thing i've noticed in this town is how people live long so 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 long because i see the obituaries uh, on the streets and when you look at it you're seeing hundred and something years old actually kojo's grandmother i mean yeah great grandmother is alive and she's almost 120 years old i asked mama i mean ufori's uh, grandmom that's brother kojo's grandmother because i wanted to know why she's looking young and strong at 80 and going she's beyond 80 right she's above 80 and she still looks strong and mama was kind enough to share her secrets but let me tell you advance i know you're gonna see her in this video and of course the sound is muted due to copyrights so mama said she's she does not eat meat so mama eats meat that is um, that is already dried she does not eat anything that is fresh 
except it's fish, chicken, and um, vegetables. And that she eats lots of vegetables. So Mama lives here in this town. I do not know who informed her that, um, you know, saying no to fresh beef and all that is a, is a good thing. But Mama actually know that. So I was so proud of her and admire her a lot. You're going to see her in this video. So this is the library, okay? It's always open to the general public, but it's closed today because it's a public holiday. And also the chief palace. I mean, they are the chief palace. And so many places we went in this video. I, I don't know if I've told you guys earlier that I attended two events in this video here in Obokweu so the people are so so friendly so 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 friendly i was concerned because i'm filming with an actual camera and it's a turn off for some people when they see you with a camera they don't like it they feel threatened they feel unsafe but not these people these people are ready to give you a challenge that they want you to take a photo of them but you'll take me a picture so <laughs> so we are on that so kojo and i keep going round because i want you to see everywhere all right so if you're driving past through obo you may not know what you will see in this video all right you can see when you are driving past because some of the houses by the roadside are the oldest you know way before some of these new mansions the new style of building were built all right so if you're driving past here and you want to get to know obo please park your car and step out a bit and take a look let's, let's ask him how they make their monies because it's important maybe you may want to imply apply that now, i wanted to ask right. something yeah. what do you people do here what what the people of obo what is their occupation our vision is what? farming. Okay. We always do farming. There is no work at here. So when we finish school, then we go into Accra to find some. In search of a job. Yeah. Or you farm. Or you just stay back if and farm. If you stay here, they are. You have to farm. Always farm. There is no. Job. What do you farm? We have uh, yam, plantain, cocoa yam, and so a lot of things. That's amazing. Yeah. You guys are you guys are rich. Please, I want you to come <laughs> now. My line. Oh, it's God grace. Okay, so let's go to Ofori's grandmother and say hello to her and check her out. And I mean, I told you about Mama that gave up on fresh meat because she believes that um, that will help her stay healthy. She is in her eighties and she looks like this. She does everything for herself by herself. So I wanted to know the secret and she said she do not eat fresh beef. So I see everyone that sees us, they smile. They are welcoming. They are okay. Do you have a lot of tourists come around? People come here. Yeah, always. We have a most kind some occasions, and if there is no occasion, we have some people come here to come and visit the town. Now, I'm a, you know I'm in Nigeria, right? If I come here and say I love this place, I want to leave here. Will you guys accept me? Why not? You do? Yes, please. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So nice. Okay, like if I want to rent like a two bedroom apartment, like a two bedroom apartment, what what, what do you think it would cost you? How much? Yeah, it can cost you about uh, two hundred and fifty cents a month. Hold on, did you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> in the same cents. Ghana. Yeah. And this is why I keep telling people that in Ghana, Ghana has different sites. Yeah. You know, some people come and they end I have up in Accra. In Accra, mm -hmm. in Masama area, mm. a month, eight hundred cities. And you can get the same thing for for yeah, two fifty. Two hundred fifty cities. I think it's best I move here. What do you think? I should move. Here. No. <laughs> <laughs> But if I must say, there are places that welcomes people the most. And I have talked about these places in the past in my videos. 
all right but right now with my today's experience here at obo i don't know what to say girappa girappa i want to apologize because you have a competitor in the building and obo Kweo is doing that All right, I don't know. I've told you guys about Girappa, right? At the um, Upper West. I mean, yeah, Upper West. Yeah, at the Upper Western part of Ghana, right? I have always said that those people are too. They're extremely friendly. Yeah, today I'm struggling. <laughs> I still have you at heart, okay? I love you so much, Girappa. But today, Kweobo, precisely. All right, so this is uh, some of the things, the plantation around home. So I asked Kojo where they do farm because I don't see any available uh, farming land here. So he said they go beyond, the, behind the mountain. All right, so that makes a lot of sense. Imagine planting vegetation here, vegetables. You know, imagine planting, planting. This place here, any, any season at all because of the weather whatever you plant will do well so now i see how you know it's possible for them to farm and make so much money yeah they are traders as well okay he talked about the only thing he was saying here in case he didn't get it is that when you live here in obo you may have to join farming yeah but the people here are quite industrious they are business women and men as you can see with vibrant uh with their vibrant smiles on the face so this is a birthday girl she didn't know us before but she welcomed us so let's spend some time here at this party before we go to the other side and check out the foods i hope you're ready if by this time you have not subscribed come on hit the subscription button because you hold me that so of course i threw the mosquitoes question at koju right yeah i did i asked him about the mosquito but let's talk about that later just let me leave you to some sound keep watching and i'll be back soon trust me to ask about the mosquitoes because i am still surprised that there are some parts in africa where there are no mosquitoes at all so that is in the next town which is treduasi i have a video on that town i love 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 that place a lot even though i didn't get a chance to get to know the town like i'm knowing obokwe now so he said there are not much mosquitoes in obo just a little bit of them few of them and sometimes you don't feel you don't hear um, 
feed the mosquitoes at all because they're just few and some selected part of the town right so let's try the food welcome 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 yeah. to It's okay, you have done well. <laughs> hey, serious. For your hand. I'm scared. I'm scared for you. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? She need it. Yeah. She have to. Okay, so this is definitely the last video from me here at the mountain of Kwewo. Right now, I'm ascending down to Nkoko where I will head back to Accra, my beloved Accra. Let me go back and enjoy the heat. It's not by force, okay? I've had enough enjoyment to last me for some time. So let's go back to Accra. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in another one. I love you all. Bye-bye. Obo was fun. Try and visit. Thank me later. Bye.